Hi everyone, Cheryl here. Um, I wanted to share with you a project that I completed for the Cutting Cafe. So for this week, um, our challenge was to um, use the file, The Little Red Dragon. Now this is such a really, 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 really cute file. Um, <clears throat> and when I saw it, I instantly knew exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so let me go ahead and um, share with you just a couple of things first. Um, the file comes with um, boxes, which you'll see in a minute. Um, the wagon, the little uh, pull tab. Um, I mean, everything you need to make this little wagon is just really, really cute. And then it also comes with um, a couple of different sentiments. So for instance, um, here are a couple of the sentiments. Um, I used one of them, but just really, really cute file. Um, it comes with, excuse me, wheels, the trimmings um, that you put on the wagon, everything. So <clears throat> this is the paper stack that I use. It's um, the Glitz paper stack, and this one is called um, Pretty in Pink. Really, really cute. So let me go ahead and share with you my project. Oh my God, I just love it. I think it turned out so incredibly cute. So I made my own little pull tag, but look at it. Oh my God, I don't think I can get it all in frame. It's so incredibly cute. Um, Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get all of this in frame. So <clears throat> what I did when I saw the file, I knew that I wanted to make um, a wagon but I wanted to make two I wanted to make them connected well when I started cutting things out I wound up cutting out four pieces for the wagon so I was like okay that's fine I'll, I'll just go ahead and keep the four so I'll start at the beginning um, what I did was I took a piece of paper um, that I had left over um, after I had covered the wagon and everything like that and what I did was I just doubled it over um, put some hot glue on it and then took some Chinese braid some really pretty brown Chinese braid and I use that as like my little pull and then I put a ribbon slider and a flat back pearl okay and then on the front um, as you can see this says a sweet delivery so this is also from the collection as well I just cut that out and then um, hot glued that onto some um, paper from the collection that I used and perfect um, right here this is the wagon here I use some um, trim this trim here is from Hobby Lobby. So I just use that all the way around this one. Um, again, the paper is from the Glitz collection. And then for the wheels, the wheels wound up being um, one inch. So if you have a inch circle punch, perfect. That's all you have to do is just punch them out. So what I did was I punched them out on, um, well, let me start back. Let me go back a little bit. I used craft cardstock as my base because um, I figured that would look the best with the paper collection I was using. So what I did was I punched out the circles, um, three sets of circles for each wheel. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, obviously just one time for whatever piece of paper I wanted to cover it with. And I did that because I wanted it to be sturdy. I knew if I just had one piece of paper or even two for the little circle, it wouldn't stand the way I wanted it to. So there's three, actually four layers, but three of the craft cardstock and then just one of the paper collection, okay? And so I did that all the way around. And then what I did was I took some flowers that I had from my stash, and I believe these are from the brown flowers that you see here that are stickled with crystal stickles. Um, I think those are from Discount Crafts on the Zibit store, I believe. And then these pink ones, these are from Adele over on the scrapyard. Okay, so let me put this down so I can go ahead and finish showing you. Um, these are two of the boxes that come with the file. And what I did was I just covered them with um, some paper, some lace, and then some trim. And then I tied it up with some ribbon. And this is the way the box looks, all assembled. Super, super cute. And so um, to connect the boxes together, what I did was I um, punched a hole. I couldn't use my crocodile because originally what I wanted to do was to um, punch some eyelets, but I couldn't use my crocodile because it was assembled and it was just this, the way this the box being assembled, it just wouldn't work. So what I did was I just took a paper piercer and punched my own little hole and then just used some small... Um, pearls 
like the small strand of pearls and I'll show you guys in a minute and then I just poked it through it took a little bit of work but I got it and it actually holds um, so I can actually pull this and it's just fine no problem um, when I assembled the wagon, again, I used the craft cardstock and then I took paper from the paper collection and hot glued that because I wanted to have a little bit more weight. And then when I um, adhered this trim, I also hot glued the trim as well. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see just a little bit better. Okay, so um, this is the first one. Here's the second one. And I just kind of alternated. All the boxes are decorated the same. But when it comes to the um, paper for the wagons, those are alternated. Um, this one is kind of like the polka dot. And then this is the pink trim, just like this brown trim from Hobby Lobby. And then the flowers are pink. And then it just repeats. Okay, let me see. Uh-oh. And then here's this one. And then here's this one. Okay, so let me... Sorry about that. <clears throat> Let me zoom back out real quick and then I can show you the boxes. So this box right here um, on the top is just some brown lace. Again, this is some trim, just white trim from, um, I think this brown lace is from Joann's. This right here um, was gifted to me by Angie, who's Queen Bee's creation. So thank you, Angie. And then this is paper from the collection. And then all I did was I just tied this up. Um, with some organza ribbon and this is from Joann's as well and then you just lift the top of the box off and I just put some Hershey Kisses in there okay super super cute and these boxes are super easy to assemble the project is super easy to assemble so all of the boxes are exactly the same they all are like this just different sizes and I'll open this this set up so you guys can see excuse me <clears throat> okay and so here's this one. This one is so cute because it's so little. Oh my God, so super cute. And then it just lifts off again, some more kisses. Okay. And then slides right back on. And then here's this one. And again, I just decorated all the boxes exactly the same. So the lace, the brown lace is on the top. This trim is around the side. And then um, just paper from the collection. And again, more kisses on the inside. Okay, so again, this project was so super cute and I love 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 how this turned out I think it is so awesome so so awesome so again let me give you one more look <clears throat> my little pool I love it it's so cute and then here it just says sweet delivery and when you pull it, it just pulls all the way through. Oh my God, I love it. Okay guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please check out uh, Regina at the Cutting Cafe. She has tons of files for you guys to use, um, something for every single occasion. Also check out the blog because the ladies um, over on the blog for the design team, they always do such a phenomenal job and um, you guys won't be disappointed. Everyone always has a different take on the challenge, on the files that we have to use for the week. And it is always so cool to see what the ladies do. So please check them out. Check Regina out for the files. They're, they're super affordable. Um, you guys won't be disappointed at all. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know what you think. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.